Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to treat your fish for flukes with Aquaprazi. And this can be bought at goldfishconnection.com. So, on the bottle, on the back here, it says that one level tablespoon will treat 500 gallons. So we know that one tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons. I just converted it to teaspoons because that's going to be easier to work with for the amount that I need to put in my tank. So we know that the conversion is three teaspoons per 500 gallons of water and my tank holds 85 gallons roughly. So I'll put that in front. So if you multiply 85 by 3 and you divide by 500, that will give you how many teaspoons you need. And that comes to about 0.5. So I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of Prazi to treat my 85 gallon tank. And one thing about powdered prazi that makes it kind of difficult to work with is it does not dissolve very easily at all. So we're going to do something a little bit special to make sure it mixes with the water before putting it in the tank. So I'm just using a little baby food jar and I'm going to get the prazi that I need. kind of messy to work with because it tends to like stick to things and like just jump all over the place. I don't know, it's really weird. So then I put about 20 milliliters of water in the jar and this is water that has been taken from the tank. So you can see already that it just does not want to mix. The prazi powder is just forming a big lump on the bottom and it's not mixing in. And then the stuff that's not on the bottom is just sitting on top of the surface. So some people use vodka to make it um, mix in with the water, but I learned this tip from another uh, goldfish keeper named David and you just add like a tiny bit of pure Castile soap to the prazi and water. And what I do to add just a little bit is I put it like on my finger and then scrape it into the jar. So it's not really a full drop of the soap. Cause I don't, I don't usually need a whole drop. So I just want to get like half a drop. <laughs> and it seems kind of, counterintuitive to put soap in your tank but it really does work and I have not seen any negative consequences at all from this and I've been doing this for about a year I think so and then you just shake it up really well so after shaking it it will look kind of sudsy and cloudy but now there's hardly any prazi that's not mixed in, so now you can add it to the tank. If you have a UV sterilizer on your tank, make sure you turn it off, turn the light off, before adding the prazi to your tank. Also, if you have any carbon in your filters, you'll need to remove that. So now, you can just take the baby food jar over to your tank and Dump in the prazi. And then it'll look kind of snowy in your tank for a while. <laughs> so treating for flukes is really pretty easy, but you do have to be kind of aggressive and persistent with it. Um, prazi is the best thing to use. 
And the important thing with treating for flukes is that you have to do repeated doses with time in between each dose where there's no prosy in the water. And that's because the fluke eggs won't hatch out when there's prosy present. So you could do just one treatment of prosy, but then once it's out of the water again, the, all the fluke eggs will hatch and then you'll have fluke infested fish again. So the important thing is to do repeated doses with time in between where no prosy is in the water. So what I usually do, since I do my water changes every four to six days usually, I will just dose a new dose of prosy right after the water change because within three days of being in the water the prosy becomes inactive. So you dose on your water change day right after your water change is done and then the prosy is in the water for three days after that and then for a couple more days there's no prosy in the water so the fluke eggs will start to hatch and then on day five you'll do your water change and add another dose. And then you just repeat that for about three to five times. If it's a really heavy fluke infestation, you'll want to do five or six rounds. If it's a really light fluke infestation or just like a possibly suspected fluke infestation, then you can do like two to three doses. Just do however much is needed. And also, the important thing to keep in mind is that with flukes, it's really more about controlling their population than it is about eradication because they're very difficult to fully eradicate from your tank. So even with fish that have been treated before, it's always a good idea to treat them with prosy a couple rounds of it, like once every year just to make sure that the fluke levels are staying low and staying under control. Because goldfish, you know, a normal healthy goldfish has an immune system and they can protect themselves from very low amounts of parasites and bacteria. And it's important to note that if your fish are infested with flukes, you will probably see some um, signs of discomfort right after adding the first dose of prosy. Um, they might start flicking their fins a little bit. Or sometimes they might even sit on the bottom of the tank for a little while. And assuming everything else is good, like your parameters are good, then it's probably just a reaction to the prosy. And if they don't... Um, if they don't get better within a couple of days, I would start to worry a little bit that it might be something more than that. But usually they will stop doing that after a couple of days if it's a reaction to the prosy. And they do that because all the flukes that are on them, attached to them, are being killed and removed and it just is a little bit irritating to them. So a little bit of um, signs of discomfort are pretty much normal and expected, especially if it's a heavy fluke infestation that they had.